When it comes to assigning categories on the base of some criteria, sometimes you have more than one criteria. And now I will show you how to do it in two very interesting ways. So using VLOOKUP and MARCH function and using HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. Let's start with the MARCH function and then we go to combining VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP function. So first of all, you have to have the, the criteria uh, name. So in our case, it will be depending on the money invested and the model of the business. So we have six online business models, which are mentioned here. And here, depending on how much money was invested. So it's again in, in intervals. So it's a from to from to. And as you can see, there are some probabilities assigned to this. So for example, this would mean that if you invested between 300 and 500 K in the startup, which is a mobile app, you would have a 5% chances. So what we want to have here is when I change here, I want this to uh, basically recalculate and give me the right answer. So how are we going to do it? It's relatively simple. So first we start as if it was with one criteria. So for example, let's imagine that uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the marketplace. So we start by building the function as if it was uh, one criteria. So for example, we let's assume that we want to get the data for the market base, which is, as you can see, the fourth column in the table. So we start with uh, building the VLOOKUP function depending just on the money invested. So we take the 300, we look for this in the table here, we take the whole table. And as we said, we just want to concentrate on the market base, so we get the, the fourth column. And since this is by intervals, then we want to just have one because it will be not exact much, but he will be just going through intervals and checking to, to which it belongs. So we're getting 11% as it is here. Let's just check it. Yeah, it is 11% in this interval. Let's maybe change the to see whether it works. Yeah, it's 18%, 18%. So as you can see, it works. Now what we want to basically do is kind of get rid of this four. So we want him, depending on the business model, to give us a different number. So how you're going to do it is to use the, the match function. The match function basically gives you the number of the element in the table. So we, what we want to do is use the match function, which will tell him basically to look for the marketplace in the row where we've got the categories mentioned. So in this one. And uh, we have to put zero because we want him to do the exact match. So specifically for this word. So he basically tells us this is the fifth element in the table because he's calculating from here, from, from the beginning of the row. So he's basically then telling us in which column is the market place. Since we know that the table is starting not from A, but from B, then we have to get rid of, of minus one and then we get the four. So this is what we had in the first place in the VLOOKUP function. So as you can see here, we have four. So instead of those four, we put the function, the formula we have created. So we have the match and then minus one. So now with match function, I'm able to basically get the value I was hoping for. So to sum up, I built first the VLOOKUP function and then here we, I've got a set element and then using the match function, I find in which place it is. If it needs adjustment, I, I do it manually. In my case, it was in the minus one. And like thanks to this, I get two criteria assignment of the categories to my requirements. So by putting the type of model and the amount of money invested, I get probability of success.